This presentation introduces the uh, Aquilinks plugin specially developed for Alchemy Catalyst. Alchemy Catalyst is a software localization technology, uh, the idea being that whatever the file format required, you have a single platform to localize your mobile, your web content, your help systems, or your software applications, be they uh, embedded or, or desktop uh, based. The idea behind Acrolinks is less about localization and translation and more about the authoring environment. Um, so technical writers, for example, will use Acrolinks to ensure the quality of their authored content is, is, um, is satisfactory. The combination of the localization platform and the authoring environment provide localized content only better. And the sum of the parts uh, provides a, a, greater, um, a greater solution. If we think about a use case, uh, it's, it's, it might be that a development team create a user interface in Spanish. Um, and depending on the, the standards or the requirements for that uh, development company, it may be that the technical writers need to translate that Spanish for to something that's more suitable for release. Um, in that environment, it might be that Acrolinks can be used during the translation process to re-examine the translated Spanish, ensuring it meets style and grammar checks as defined in the Acrolinks environment. So if we think about uh, the demo, uh, or we'll have a look at the, the, the product, um, with the Acrolinks plugin installed, we have a new menu within Catalyst. It provides access to the Acrolinks options for connecting to your server or for setting the various um, Acrolinks checks. And once that's set up, the integration is tightly coupled with Catalyst. So Catalyst's existing validation technologies, such as automatic validation or the validation expert, uh, integrate with the Acrolinks checks and they ju they're just seamless whether it's a Catalyst check or an Acrolinks check they behave in the same way so let's have a look at how that behaves now um, so first thing you'll notice within product uh, is this new Acrolinks menu and if I go to the Acrolinks options I get the uh, a dialog box from the Acrolinks integration that allows me to set my integration server uh, it allows me to choose my language uh, tests and within the language I can then choose a rule set um, so I have defined here simplified technical English and I'm going to use the rule set uh, as suitable for my project I do have the option of further defining what tests I wish to perform I'm going to accept all the tests so we can have a look at how they interact the other uh, important uh, part is just to verify within the validation settings that you have actually switched on the Acrolinks tests. So once that's the case, I then start to use Catalyst as normal. If I uh, type a translation there, the, the, uh, because I have automatic validation switched on, that automatically gets checked, gets sent to the server, and I'm seeing some return values um, Acrolinks users will be used to seeing this color coded the way it is um, and Catalyst users will be used to seeing validation errors appear in this tab here. So what I can now do is examine that. If I right click on this area I get an Acrolinks specific menu um, as if it's a Catalyst menu. Once a change is made it, that segment is now retested. Um, doesn't like me using the word poor it wants me to use defective I'll do that um, and I think if we fix this here I'm deliberately typing defective quality text and I'm going to hit F5 to retest that and now my errors are, are, are no more so I have successfully translated from perhaps in my case developer English to English that is now suitable for release. 
So this is integrated with the, 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 the visual view. If I pop into string view, we'll see something similar. Um, the nice thing about that is if I, if I just try to advance past that segment, you'll notice over here that that segment is sent to the server. And as soon as any errors return, uh, the exclamation mark appears. So I'm highlighted or I'm alerted to any problems that I've introduced. I can, be, I can go back to these segments. Um, the validation errors appear, and just like I did a moment ago, I have the opportunity to correct those problems. Not only will Catalyst integrate at this segment by segment level, but we can perform um, batch type uh, validation through the validation expert, and the same um, configuration is using is used. So I can now batch up an entire project or, or uh, you know, a, a, a section of my project and send that content up to the Acrolink server to get that content checked for me. When the results return, they're presented in the normal way within Catalyst in the results bar. Um, these are live links, so I can click uh, right on these and be brought and, and, and start interacting with the, the tool in that way. It's also possible to generate a report within Catalyst or um, have a look at the online report that's stored within the Acrolink server. So I can see, based on the content that, that I've just created, that I have a lot of errors. I've got 32 style errors, I've got a couple of spelling errors and a terminology error. Um, so I can work through my uh, aggregated, aggregated report in the normal way, or I can interact with Catalyst uh, if I prefer to, to, to work and fix my problem uh, in that environment. Just to have a, a look at that again. So what we've seen is the new toolbar in the product. We've seen how to connect to the Acrolink server from within Catalyst how to ensure the validations are, are, are um, selected, and then interacting with the validation tests, be it through automatic validation or through batch validation. This is less a presentation about the actual Acrolinks functionality, but more how uh, that functionality is, is integrated within the Catalyst environment. Thank you very much.